Okay, so tell me what happened to you. Well, I, I went to a spot that I normally go to in Galveston. Uh, you know, I went to a spot that I frequent, and uh, there's a lot of stingrays in that area. We see them, you know, we take every precaution, you know, and, and it just, uh, you know, I, I, I got unlucky. I figured at some point it was going to happen, and it did. Uh, it was late, late at night. Uh, I got hit pretty good behind the ankle and uh, pain was immediate. I got out uh, to a, a place that, uh, you know, I could make a phone call to a friend and he, he rushed over with, uh, with some, some remedies. And I was able to get the, the wound cleaned out and, uh, you know, uh, basically get everything taken care of to where there wasn't any serious risk of infection. Did so you go to the hospital? I didn't go to the hospital, no. Okay. So um, what, where exactly in Galveston and, and what day did this happen? Uh, this was in Jamaica Beach. This would have been on, this would have been on Wednesday. Okay. So you said that you took all the precautions and, and you, you live in the, in the beach community, so you know about stingrays. So tell me what you did to try and prevent this from happening. Well, you know, we wear protective boots, you know, I mean, the water in that area is pretty clear. So, you know, you can, you can see them. Uh, the problem is, is that whenever you're, when you're moving around that area and you, you, you get a fish on, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of fishing and we get to catch a fish and you're, you're moving around the area, it muddies up. Yeah. So you, you lose your ability to, to see what's around you. And these things are incredibly flexible. They're a cartilage fish. So when you step on them, you know, they can just double over on themselves. There's no, there's no bone to, you know, bone or, or, or spinal restriction. You know, they can, they can bend their tail over and, and hit whatever's, you know, attacking them. Obviously, in this case, it was me, you know, with my feet. And, you know, I, I it was just unlucky. <laughs> Did you know right away what it was? I didn't, actually. It felt like... Uh, Felt like a high voltage electric shock. Kind of stunned me for a few seconds. And about the time that I kind of regained my senses, I, I, I realized what it was, you know, and I, I made my way over to the bank and I took, took my waders off. I took my, my boots off and he had gone right through my boot, right through my waders, uh, pretty deep into my ankle and immediately bleeding profusely, immediately felt the pain, extreme pain. Uh, debilitating. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't make it back over to the uh, to the bank. I actually had to sit there for a few minutes. Uh, couldn't stand. Nauseous. Uh, all at once. It's very bad. I've I've had a few you know injuries and you know I've been kicked by a horse and you know broken bones that sort of thing. And this was way beyond all that. Wow. So are you feeling differently about fishing now? Absolutely not. You know, I mean, it's just, I spend a lot of time in the water. I'm, I'm on the coast. I'm on the coast in the water, you know, three days a week, every week. So, this is, you know, it's nothing new to see them. I'm around them all the time. I give them a wide berth. I practice, uh, you know, uh, pretty good preventative measures to, you know, uh, keep this from happening. And it just, you know, uh, the water was muddy and I just, you know, the split second in the wrong spot. And I stepped on him, he doubled over and hit me on the ankle and it happens, you know, it can happen to anybody, you know, you spend enough time out there. Do you have any advice for people headed to the beach this Memorial holiday weekend? Yes, if you're gonna get in the water, you know, this is, it, the water's warming up, it's high time for, you know, the uh, stingray activity. If you're going to be in the water, you need to wear, you know, protective boots. You need to wear ray guards. The, the, your, the, the bandwidth was starting to, to warble your voice, and I don't want you to sound drunk on TV. So let me okay. have you start that answer again. <laughs> so your advice to people if they're headed out to the, to the uh, beach this holiday weekend. You know, my advice would be to wear, you know, wear protective boots if you're going to be in the water protective shoes, uh, you know, I was wearing neoprene, neoprene and rubber boots and it went clean through. So, you know, hard protective boots, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be wading in the marsh, you know, you're gonna be out there in the surf, 
you know, wear something over your feet, you know, protect your ankles, protect the top of your feet. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. I'm sorry this happened to you, but, uh, you're going to be back out there fishing pretty soon, huh? Very soon. Yeah. Weather, weather permitting. <laughs> well, I hope you have a great holiday week and it's nice meeting you virtually. You too. Thank you, Gina. Okay. Take care. All right. Bye -bye.